Yes. Oh, I got the one picture. Busy. You're too busy celebrating. <laughs> He's gone, Lee. Get over him. <laughs> got a crush on. Got a crush on Mickey. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on. Oh, yeah. Get play. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What do you think of the fancy pants? No, I'm so Let's sorry. See it's called fancy pants? Oh, yeah, fancy pants. Why is it called fancy pants? Yes, because you not have fancy pants on. Help everybody else. Oh, There's zebras. Park this bad boy. Right here. Okay. Now let's see who's out and about today. Uh oh, can the call in? Uh, so, indeed, our friend is still on the road. They're letting our school pile one at a time. How sweet! Now, of course, we can't push these friends out of the way, but we are not above. Bribery. <laughs> We're gonna bring out the good snacks. Hopefully, get our friend to scooch on over. Now, they're on a very interesting turn, a very flying turn that they're hanging out on specifically. So, it may take a few moments for us to get moving again for our friends to finally scooch out of the way. But y'all worry, because I have a feeling we're gonna get nice and personal with them too. They've been uh, extra friendly, that's for sure. Well, hey, you know what? It is a two week long safari, so I hope you're nice and comfy. Wait, two weeks? But you know, it would be pretty fun if our friends decided to come on up here and join us too. You never know, so make sure we're keeping those eyes peeled because some of our friends, they like to surprise us. Okay. Here we go, and oh, we got Pretty Birdie on the left hand side. Now, this is half of my favorite couple on the reserve our saddle built storks. Now, these two are mated for life. Some even say they have the perfect relationship. <laughs> That's because neither of them have vocal cords. Uh -huh. They do, however, have wingspans over nine feet long. That's an entire foot wider than the canopy above us. So, it definitely has a big old birdie. That's our gorgeous girl because she's got that bright yellow ring around her eyes. Our handsome fellow on the right hand side, well he's got a dark brown ring around his eyes. It's the easiest way to get to tell them apart. Okay, we're still making our rounds. Looks like our friend's hanging out just enjoying a good shady spot. Too funny. Anybody else want to join us out here today? Oh, hi. Sure enough, on my right hand side, some of our beautiful bald ghosts. Now, they were known as the ghosts of the forest. They were so good at hiding that we didn't even know they were a species till after the 1900s. So, I definitely want that game behind C Com. Now, a nice little fun fact, a little secret is if you stare directly in their eyes and sing to them, they'll pucker their lips Sorry. at you and blow you little kisses. I have tested it and it is true. It is adorable too. Okay, anybody else, huh? Keeping us on our toes? Maybe. Oh, that wild traffic jam is back. But, oh, we got a few friends on the left. Now, these are Greater Kudu. And we can tell those are gorgeous girls because they don't have the long spiral horns that stick nearly straight up. Also, we don't have any male Greater Kudu, so it makes it a little easier to tell. And now, friends, we're heading down the board to a little slowly nice and slowly. Now, we're going to the forest, but we're going to get ready to start rolling down the river. Now, the Safi River is incredibly important. It's going to supply all the watering holes for our animals, but of course it's going to be home to a few as well. Now we're just going nice and slowly again, that way we don't sneak up on our friends a little too fast. Sure enough, you snip up a little more distance, building up anticipation. Da 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 On my right hand side, if you look deep in the water, you may see a dark mass down there. That's gonna be our Nile hippopotamus. But it looks like even the good snacks are out today. Now, they can be a little hard to see. They spend most of the daylight hours underneath the water, just trying to protect that sensitive skin from the harsh UV rays. Now, if you want to see a little more up close and personal, over at Gorilla Falls, they do have a nice view and area underwater. You can see the a lot better. So, our friends are stopping up ahead again, so I'm sorry. 
Just taking it nice and slowly. Ah, uh, yes. Now, a little fun fact about our hippos. They can even sleep under the water. They begin their slumber deep down. And will hold their breath about eight minutes long. So they'll float back up and sink right back down. All without ever waking up. Wish I could sleep that big silly, huh? Or still keep it in mind. We have to find us. Who need that? Friends on the left, sure enough, some hippos. Uh, now, usually they only come out at night where they graze within two miles. They need over 80 pounds of vegetation. That's why they even their babies wave over first floor. They're joining us on the left hand side. We've got some feathery Beautiful pink coloration. Well, we'll find their perfect part. But they've got a cool way of cooling off. They're able to eject their spine out of their throat. Yeah, it kind of looks like a funny little pumpkin now. It helps cool down. Alright, so the car. It works, huh? Now, our hippos will lay rather just out of the water and have a good time. Oh, well, hi. Plenty of pizza food is there. Oh, we got a lot of our friends. That was a baby. No, I want to stay with you too. Oh, okay. That was a baby. Oh, it sounds like she's crazy. Oh, guy. Okay. I hope he stopped in the sun. Not in the sun. Please. Listen to stop in the sun. Move on along. Oh, my left baby, Greta. Oh, she's stepping on the left hand side. She's a little hard to see, but she deserves all the love all the time. Oh, what a precious little baby. Oh. She's underneath the water. It looks like we got a second. Hold on tight. It's coming up on my left hand side. A little toothy grease going on the bar. Nile, crocodile. Mud was dropped on her white. Usually they're down there. Nature. But don't you worry. They're going to be pretty gentle. Sometimes they'll take their very own eggs in their mouth, roll them around, and get them against their teeth to encourage them to hatch. Now, other babies are still just a little too tiny to travel. The mom is going to scoop them all up in her mouth, keep them in a special pouch, and she'll carry them for fun. Oh, and your little tail's hanging from a tweeter, too. Although, friends, though, I'm sorry. Notice our vegetation is clearing out, and our trees are growing much, much taller. So this can only mean that we're about to enter the savannah. Now he's going to be home to some of our most famous friends, like that wild traffic jam. Now, of course, he's going to be home to a few more friends that maybe we don't even recognize at first. And I'll cheat where I'll tell you all about them but when we get to them. You know, just taking our time, hanging out. Yes, uh, if you look on my left hand side, you'll notice there's a bunch of trucks stopped right here. That's where our friends hanging out, right in the middle of that little loop de loop. Ah, uh, yes, the fun times. So, uh, you know, we're just gonna take a nice little stroll on along. But hey, I got our first friend already. My right hand side, the baobab tree. Now it's also known as the tree of life. And if you're looking nice and close, you may notice, well, it doesn't have any leaves on it. That's because it's trying to conserve as much water as possible within its very own branches, even its trunks. Now, elephants are known to hang around these trees, especially as a secondary source of water. So I got a feeling we're going to be seeing a few more in the future, friends. Uh, get bumpy again. Hold on. Uh, okay, now we're making our way around. Uh, keep your eyes peeled because uh, our friends may join us at any second. Apparently, they're the twin sticks right in the middle of this brush on my left hand side. So, we like to play peekaboo, especially with the trucks. <laughs> There's one friend that you don't want to play chicken with. Oh. Okay, here we go. Take it nice and slowly. Okay, that's quiet, so he may be in there snacking. Just take our time going on through, you know? Let's play a chat with these cuties out here. On my right hand side, you may already see a friend. Now, these are our wildebeest, and we're lucky enough to see plenty of them. They'll travel in herds up to 1.5 million. Now, each and every wildebeest has unique scent glands on their hooves. Just in case they ever get lost in the herd, they can track them down just by their very own smell. Now, uh -oh, I am shocked that they're not spooked because up ahead, well, we have one of the most successful hunters on the savannah. Now, these are almost... Oh, my. 
first. Our African boiled dogs. Now they're also known as our painted dogs because of the beautiful coloration of their coats. I don't know if you can see those coats, huh? Okay, those friends are really hard to see out there today. Up there, a lot closer. There we go. They take turns chasing their prey till they finally reach the brink of exhaustion. So Gare cheese them a nice easy meal. They're quite cute, but you don't want to pet them. They're kind of like the forbidden puppies. But now on my left hand side, there's the logo. Our sable antelope. I like to call them the Sable Able because their long horns are able to save their lives. Especially for one large feline, no for pouncing on the back. Now our friend walking down the road, right slowly but surely. Another one of our beautiful wildebeest. Now we're gonna let him take his time because if one wildebeest runs, well, they all run. And this can cause a stampede. We've seen the Lion King. We know how this goes, huh? Now when they're finally ready to relax, they all sleep facing different directions. It's just like a predator sneaks up on them. He'll take up all different ways, confuse the predator, but save it a few lives. Really counts, of course. Now hold on, friends. It is a bumpy ride. True. I just, I just came up like, with our new, our, our scooters game because we're getting puppies. Now the head guy, our wildebeest on our right hand side. Anybody else want to join us? Our friends are going to be friends. Sorry, allergies. Woo. Oh, we got some famous stripes coming up on the right hand side. Now those belong to our Hartman's Mountain Zebra. They're the friendliest species of zebra. So let's see if we can get at least a little bit closer, huh? Oh, I hope we're excited. I know I am. But okay, okay. First, some more wildebeest. Oh, yeah. But they're a little busy snacking, huh? Okay, we'll let you enjoy your meal. Now, coming on up. Now, our Harmon's Mountain Zebra, they're not only known for their friendly nature, but even an extra flap of skin on their neck called a dewlap. So if they ever get a little too warm, they can outstretch that skin and allow blood to circulate throughout. So it'll help cool them down. But have you ever wondered if a zebra's black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Well, you can tell just by looking at that cute little nose. They are indeed black with white stripes. Now, it does tend to very first species of zebra, so they're all unique like us. My friends, I do have to ask that you see it because it's about to get bumped again. Okay, now we have quite a few more wildebeest. Even looks like we got our own tower of terror. He's gonna creep up on them. So little poly poly though, nice and slowly. Okay, hey, at least we're getting some great view of our wildebeest, you know. They love to hang out with us. I should not do anybody else. Oh, there we go. Our beautiful the side giraffe. Oh. Now we can tell they're the side in particular because those dark rigid spots. These friends even baby hold three crows up to 20 feet tall thanks to that long neck. But the bump blood through all that, they're going to hold a furniture by the heart. So Humphrey's heart's going to grow up to two feet long, over 25 pounds. It can hold a whole lot of love, that's for sure. But if you look a little closer, you may even see their purple tongues. Now, giraffes sleep for 16, even 20 hours a day. That purple coloration will help protect it from sunburn. That way, they can keep on snack and grow big and tall. Oh, friends up ahead, I'm starting to see a lot of knockdown trees, even some large tree limbs. It's a good thing we sent them at first off. But I only have one friend big enough to do something Sorry, like this, so hold on tight, everyone, because uh oh, it looks like it's getting bumpy again. Ready? And one, two, three, hope. One more time. Oh. Woo. Anybody out here? Oh, well, hi, I wasn't expecting you. Our friends on the left hand side are oh, Mandrel. Now, if you know Rafiki from the Lion King, yeah, he's loosely yeah. based off the mandrel. Now, for their vibrant red of the colorations on the front and the back. They're the largest species of monkey, and a little birdie told me they're also the wisest. On my right, we do have a big boy, though, or two. Our male African elephants. Now, you see, they're a little warm out there today. They're trying to hang out and stay nice and cool by flapping those ears. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to our handsome fellas. 
Okay, so it has been quite a warm day and elephants have extremely sensitive skin. So it looks like one friend's hanging out in the shady spot. The other friend, well, he's just looking for a good snack, huh? Now we can see that they're flapping their ears. They have hundreds of blood vessels throughout each one. So that flapping motion will help cool the blood inside. It'll cool them internally up to 15 degrees. Now, of course, those big old ears are great for hearing. But elephants, they have some other unique senses as well. They're even able to sense the vibration of the ground through their hooves. So friends, as we cross on over this bridge, we're going to be letting all of our lady elephants know that we're on the way. Now we're going pulley pulley again in case they think we're predators. Our elephants will stretch those large ears, let out a honk honk, and let the rest of the herd know to run. But speaking of the herd, it looks like we may be coming home one of their favorite snacks. Now, of course, we're going to be herbivores. help clear up their digestive tracts as well. If that part's a little less pretty, however, now my left are some of the ladies. Now we can see they're wearing some of their natural sunscreen. Elephants will throw mud, even dirt, on their very own backs just to try to add that extra layer of protection between their sensitive skin and those harsh rays. Now, we're actually not sure if it's because their sensitive skin or their sensitivity to vibration. But our Wildlife Foundation was able to find out that elephants are scared of bees. Yeah, just like bees. Now, out in the wild, unfortunately, elephants are being pushed from their home due to bee or skin. They're not allergic to them, they're just scared of them. This is destroying their livelihood. So the farmers were navigating in really harsh ways. But don't you worry, friends, because we went on out there and put a beehive at every fence post. Not only was it great for our farmers' crops, but pollination, even giving them a little extra money for the honey. But most importantly, it helped save our beautiful elephants from that harsh retaliation. Hey, that's what matters most, of course. Okay, hold on, everyone. Up ahead, we're going to sneak through the watering hole real quick. Hopefully, our ladies don't mind too much. We'll take a pulley pulley throughout that way. We don't spook anyone. Okay, looks like they're a little busy looking for lunch right now, though. Here we go, friends. Please and slow. Seems like our ladies don't mind. Oh, no. Still set on our path. Hi, gorgeous. But up ahead now, we've got the real party animals. And these are our greater flamingos. Now, if you're looking nice and close at our feather friends, you may notice that some of them don't look very pink yet. That's because when they first hatch, they come out completely gray. Oh yes, you're very pink, we see you. Now they do get their beautiful coloration around two years of age. That's when they finally eat enough brine shrimp to turn completely pink. But friends, if you're trying to turn pink on your very own, you may have a bit of a hard time. Those brine shrimp are nearly microscopic. Plus, I just don't think they're gonna share, huh? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see a few more friends, but first it's going to get a little bumpy. Nope. I'm going to tear. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! Woo! Ah. Anybody else has been joining us out here today? Oh, looks like somebody's been cooling down. Now the head friends, I've seen a really large butt hole. That's a great indication that our white rhinos were around. They'll find themselves in tiny little puddles. They'll stomp around and even adding some of their own uh, personal water to it to create the perfect consistency of butt. Then they'll roll around and cake in that entire body. All 5,000 pounds of white rhino. That's a whole lot of skipping over. Oh, yeah, that mud hole looks tough. Very well used today. But you may want to keep those eyes on the left hand side. Because coming on up these fast felines are known for their incredible camouflage and of course their speed. On my left are our cheetahs. Now cheetahs have reached speeds over 60 miles an hour in just three seconds. They're faster than some of our very own vehicles. Now there's a friend napping way 
in the back behind a tree, but let's see if we can see oh, it. This park rides a little bit better, huh? Oh, 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 yeah. Now, of course, with great speed comes very little strength. <laughs> so cheetahs, they need to hunt during the day just to make sure they can get to prey they can handle. They'll have dark markings around their eyes, even their mouths out, protected from the harsh glare of the sun while they hunt. But now, my favorite fun fact about the cheetahs here on our reserve is that they're all senior female cheetahs. It's like our own little retired version of the cheetah girls. <laughs> now we're still going poly poly. Hopefully we can see our friend up on the left hand side. She's a little hard to see because she's sleeping in today. Okay, but it looks like she's just enjoying her nap. Our next friends, well, you know for coming on down when the sun goes down, but they're known for sleeping in too. Of the head friends are our lions. Well, the back end of a lion. <laughs> Oh, we can tell that's our lovely lady because she doesn't seem to have that big old bushy mane. Our handsome boys sure do. But that's that's very the fierce one. huntress of the bride. She's going to risk it all to make sure that everybody's got a good meal to come home to. Especially if she's got any little cubs out there. Now, lions will sleep for 60, even 20 hours a day. Uh, while they're saving this energy for the nighttime, for the hunt. Our friends, well, they're saving it for another nap. Oh, but I think we got some big friends on the right hand side. Way in the back, there's some of our white rhinos. Now we already know they weigh up to 5,000 pounds. But if we're able to see them a little bit closer, we'd see their square shaped jaw. That's because they're grazers. So they gotta get a little closer to buy up a larger section of grass. So let's see if we can see those faces a little bit better. How about the pretty face of our pretty Look up there. Now, you know that famous roar you on TV? Lions roar. It's actually a tiger. Now lions, they have a deep bassy roar that reverberates for miles. If we were lucky enough to hear, we'd hear them over five miles away throughout the entire park. But our next friends will love to hear. Especially seeing a song like a Coming on up on my left hand side are our warthogs. Now, warthogs can switch between diurnal and nocturnal, so they can literally sleep any time of day. But up ahead, a big old birdie, we do not want to play chicken with. Oh, those are ostriches. They're extremely territorial, but slightly aggressive. Okay. Nice birdie. We're just going to take our time, huh? Okay. Now, hey, on my right hand side, we can see our white rhinos again. Hopefully a little bit better. Oh, I don't think they laid those, huh? Those are ostrich eggs. No wonder Mama's keeping an eye on us over there. Now, we do not want to stay here too long. Now, Mama, she's able to reach speeds up to 43 miles an hour. This truck, it can only go eight. Now, not only are ostriches incredibly strong, weighing up to 400 pounds, even their eggs back there are strong. Strong enough for a full-grown man to jump on and it's knock on our crack. But one single ostrich egg has the same nutritional value as about 24 regular chicken eggs. So imagine having one of those bad boys for breakfast this morning. Okay, nice birdie. We're just gonna sneak off by. Uh-oh, friends, it's about to get bumpy. So hold on tight, everyone. This is a big one. Ready? And oh, here comes the bump part. Does look like a lucky day indeed because up ahead the worms got some of their very own pets out. Our worm is having an awful problem with all this fiery underbrush, so we call it in the back of the plane of cutest. Our Nigerian North Ghost. What's going on? Now yeah, those precious little friends are going to be on that fiery underbrush. Still, their animal is going to want to touch. They'll even produce that sweet, nutritious milk. But if you're looking deep in these loving eyes, you can even see their rectangular pupils. That allows them a wider field of view. So they're able to see almost all the way around themselves. Now, my favorite ability of our cute little goats is that they can scream just like a human. Our horn's going to get some uh, interesting makeup calls, to say the least. Now, for a cute little friends for our last animals on our safari today. But don't you worry, we're keeping it nice and positive. 
Now please know we have all the beautiful animals we got to see out there. The easiest thing we can do is share some of the facts we've learned. Not just power my friends, the more you know, the more you can help. But of course there is no nation like donation. Free donations to the Wildlife Foundation at any local merchandise location. And if you donate over a dollar, you'll get an elephant conservation pin that will show off your hero. But friends, if I happen to have any wilderness explorers on board, please know you can write a simple one. That's the bad of the lion and the number one. But friends, as we can tell, they can come up here up there. This is a great time just to double check those. Valuables. Now this includes cell phones, wallets, and yes, even children. Oh yeah, any left behind? It will be put to work. You know, my parents lost <laughs> safari books and I'm still here. <laughs> but, uh oh, friends, it looks like the warren's calling everyone is. So in just a second, it might be our turn to go. But now here, well, we just don't like to say goodbye because that's way too sad and much too final. So you know what? We won't. We're going to look around. Please. Now, if you want to see a few more cuties out there today, you should head on over to Gorilla Falls. Because they have meerkats, mega mole rats, and of course, gorillas. They even have a cute little baby gorilla. We just found out her name, and I know you'll want to, too. Oh, but now you may hear a choo-choo train going on by. I'll take you on over to Rafiki's Play to Watch. They have an animation station, so you can learn how to draw some of your favorite friends in the air conditioning. They also have an affection section, so you can even pet some of our cute little goats. But you want more? Well, we got it. We even have our very own animal hospital. So you can watch real surgeries happen right in front of you. Just a warning to hut, not always for the weak stomach. And on my left hand side, you may see some wild safari drivers. They're known for their coats made of khaki, living off a diet of caffeine. They're known to be searching for their lost safari buses. Now, if you happen to join us again, you can have one of those awesome drivers. They'll have their own unique stories and facts to tell, and it's a different safari every time. Our lucky friends make sure of that. Oh, I see you turning your head at that lovely screech and sound. Don't worry, you're about to hear it again with us. It just lets us know if we're safe enough to load or unload. But sure enough, it looks like it may be our turn to beep, beep, and go. So, let's go. Okay. Now, of course, friends, the words we do use is Quaharini, because this means go well. So go well, my friends, and go wild out there. My name's Selena. It has been a pleasure having you. Enjoy your adventures at Animal Kingdom. Oh, up here. On the right, let's just say hands, arms, feet, and legs. Those doors are opening. And remember, friends, the wilderness must be explored. Go, go, roar! Have fun, everyone. If you did have fun, my name was Selena. If not, my name was Bob. Baharini. Happy New Year, Selena. Thanks for